Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to Nigel Knows. Hope everybody had an amazing weekend. And I am Felicia, and we have Nika. Hi. And Tori. <laughs> okay, so we had an order we're supposed to go in. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We know who everybody is. <laughs> if y'all been watching this whole time, you know who we are. <laughs> and you today is not feeling well. That's why you don't see her with us right now. Yes, better. we hope she gets better soon. All right, ladies. How y'all doing? Everybody good? Good. Yes, all feeling right. All right. Good. All right. So we going to talk about um, All-Star Weekend this past weekend, right? Okay. Chris Brown mm. rescinded their invite because he was going to perform. Okay. In his past, I guess, you know, his past ain't too pretty. It ain't shiny. No. But uh, how, how do y'all feel about um them not letting him play just because he has, you know, a few scuff marks? <laughs> we have scuff marks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the, he was <laughs> invited to play in the Celebrity All-Star Basketball game. Yes. And they said Ruffles, to be exact, was the advertiser that was like, hey, look, if he playing, we're not going to advertise with y'all. We, as we know, advertising is a lot of money. So they said no. And I feel like, I don't know, I kind of got mixed feelings on it. On one hand, I understand because his past, you know, people focus on the Rihanna part, but he's done it multiple times, getting all these fights and scuffles with people. Um, at the same time, it's like, how long do we make him pay for what he did in the past? Do When do we give people time to grow? You know, what if he's changed? I mean, obviously we don't know him personally, but what if, you know, he's a different man or whatever? And do we let it, I don't want to say let it go. Cause I feel like violence against women isn't necessarily something that I personally, like if I know you beat women, you just, I'm never going to look at you the same. That's just how it is. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, you can stay over there. You know, I'm not going to come be in your face all the time about it, but you could stay over there. And uh, I, I don't know. I kind of got mixed feelings about it. Sorry. Uh, I mean, I think, I feel like you treat it almost kind of like the justice system. Like once you, you know, people make mistakes and that's a big, big, big mistake to put your hands, anybody, man on woman, woman on man. It's a big mistake to put anybody putting their hands on anybody. But just, I feel like with the just, once you serve your time and you do your penance, then I think that that gives them the right to eventually be allowed to move forward. My question being, I don't, what kind of penance has he done? Has he done? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. my thing. It's like, I'm all about moving forward and letting people at any point in time, you can be a new person. You can move on from things, but did you learn the lesson? Cause I mean, so how do you want somebody to learn that lesson? You said penance. So, right. So what, what does a person have to do? Well, stop the behavior. One. <laughs> 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 like Nikki said that was like not the first instance so clearly you know behavioral patterns happen and then on top of that I didn't really hear much anything after any of those about what he did to other than the PR stuff of, I'm sorry I lost my temper da, 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 da. but it's like what did you actually do I didn't really hear much of him like donating to domestic violence you know like nonprofits, he did create a nonprofit. I looked up. It was called, until 2012 called Symphonic Love, which mm. you which uses creative arts to support positive behavior. But what does that mean? That's not that's not an apology. That's necessarily. broad. It's very broad. It's very broad. And I just I don't know if there has really been any penance from Chris Brown other than get over everybody that's in the past. And it's like, OK, but what did you do to fix it? Because as of right now, it's not looking like much. So I think we hold people to the fire until they show remorse and change behavior. Um, But I mean. Also, I think it's a ploy for that's a good way to grab media for ruffles because I had to ask. I was like, potato chips? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. way to grab the media. Yeah. But, you know, because this what is old news. What were you going to say, Nick? I saw you. Oh, I was going to ask you what you was going to say. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to use a personal example real quick. So I grew up in an abuse household, right? And there was, I think, 20 something years that I didn't talk to my stepfather. And it was me going over everything that he had done. I think we have to learn to forgive. And that's what I had to do with him. I had to forgive. And I also had to get his side of the story. 
Mm -hmm. He didn't have to do anything for me to forgive him. I think, why can't we just forgive people and just move forward? And then not just saying we're just going to move forward blindly, but I'm moving forward, but I'm, I'm, I'm watching you. I got my eye on you. <laughs> but sometimes not, like you said, Nick, not to let it go. But I mean, we got to move past a little bit. You can't hold them accountable, you know, for what he did. How long ago was this? 10 years, 15 years ago now? Yeah, it's been a long time. Come on, get a man a chance. We're not giving him the opportunity to show us that he's done anything different. Give him a chance. Yeah, and I think that they should have never asked him. Or if they were going to ask him, maybe check with their advertisers first. Because, I mean, that's a whole other issue as to the power of advertisers. And they control what we mm -hmm. see on TV. That That's a you know clear example of that, right? Because they are the ones that are paying these TV stations or however it works to you know have money to do all these things they do. But it's like, yeah, how long do you? Because I would hate to have to keep paying for something I did when I was 20. You know what I'm saying? I'm 41 now. <laughs> and you still making me pay for something to do when I was 20. And again, I feel like the question is, what is the payment? Like, he apologized. Like, what are we expecting him to do? Now, clearly, it hasn't stopped his bag because he still sell out shows. He still have hit songs. He still be featured on people's albums. They want to be featured on his. People are still partying with him and everything else. So it hasn't stopped his money. But like, what else do we expect him to do? I think in my eyes, it would be, I don't know. I feel like he's, he, he kind of stuck. Cause even if he comes and he's like, look, and he cries and he's sincere, somebody going to say, mm, he's just doing that for PR. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like, yep. it's like, he can't win. And I feel like humans were so com uh, fickled. I'll put it that way. Yes. He's, Love you today and hate you tomorrow. So yeah. I, I don't know. I feel like it's. It's been a long time. Like they should have never invited him. Then so here's the thing. Discussion. He's okay to sell out shows and do music, but he's not okay for that. Like it doesn't go. It doesn't I mean, it's, the, it's, it's, the, it's the R. Kelly stance. You know, R. Kelly music, top tier. I'm sorry. I don't support anybody peeing on anybody's children, nothing like that. But but Chocolate Factory is a vibe. And you can't necessarily deny the good that people have done, but you also can't paint them in such a rosy picture that you know we we put them on a, a pedestal and they're maybe not the best person to put necessarily on the pedestal again yeah that was super super long ago but to my again is he actually a changed person uh -huh. you know and that and and, and 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 to the point like no you can't please everybody to your point, even if he did go on and cry and say, I'm sorry, and, you know, do the things at that point, I feel like even if you do the things and you mean it and you can tell that it's genuine. No, you're never going to be able to please everybody. And there's always going to be people that are going to use that stardom to try and, and, and build and make their own point. But as far as like, but after that and you show the difference and you show that, you know, once you do, I think your due diligence to change. Yeah. At that point, you gonna y'all gonna have to like move on and let it go if that's what he's doing. But if to me, if he doesn't, is he if he hasn't shown any actual change other than just trying to you know rudely tell people to get over it, then I think that there is a place for advertisers to be like, mm, no, I'm not I'm not cool about that. Like I'm, I'm still not necessarily and be able to put their money where they want to put their money. For sure, yeah. the problem. But when's the last time he put his hand on somebody? On somebody? That's, that's, what, that's, that's what I was looking context. at. So two thousand nine is uh -huh. when it happened. The whole thing with Rihanna, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, two thousand eleven, and and some of this isn't necessarily him putting his hands on people, but him getting angry and getting people's face. At least that's what they're saying he did allegedly. Let me make sure I say that word. Allegedly. Okay. <laughs> yes. Allegedly. Um, 2000, what's this? 11, get it confronting people at a, a in the backstage at a show. 2012, a uh, uh, nightclub brawl. <laughs> that was, let's see, June 2012. Uh, September, he tests positive for marijuana. I mean, I mean, a lot of us would test positive. Yeah, yeah, show it. Show it. 
Legal here and just, not legal. That one, that one, you get a pass. In 2012, he violated the restraining order that was, you know, for Rihanna. They were at the same party, so that was a violation. He had a clash 2013 with Frank Ocean. His probation revoked July 2013, arrested for felony assault in, later on in 2013. He went to rehab in 2013, 2014. He was diagnosed with bipolar oh, disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder. And then it doesn't mention in here, but I know the ex-girlfriend Karuchi had also had some a physical incidents with him where she was also, you know, I don't know if she had a restraining order, but also he was, I guess, Whatever. I don't want to say stalking her, but torturing her in some sort of way. Where oh, okay. She, she was in danger. Or at least she felt she was in Allegedly. danger. Allegedly. 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 <laughs> <laughs> been arrested a couple times 2014 he pled guilty to assault misdemeanor assault so he probably smacked somebody like that's and i think that's what's getting him if it was just the one i, I really thought it was going to stop before 2015 like, people Jesus. might have moved on yeah but the fact that this has been going on for years like you're showing like you said tori a behavior pattern and that's what's disturbing now as of late because this article is written january 2023 I mean, I mean, they they must have pulled his records because they going to everything. Right. <laughs> the right. last when's date? the last? What's the last date? What's the um, most recent date? This was twenty twenty two. She was he was sued by a woman claiming he raped and drugged her in Miami. The other part of that is because he is who he is, and because he's had these incidents. Now it's like sometimes people get got. You know what I'm saying? They accuse you of stuff that you didn't do. So it's like all yeah. that's going to show up regardless of whether you did it or not. Yeah. That's what I think is really killing him at the moment, at least as far as this particular incident is concerned. I thought we were just forgiven for 2020. Uh, what is it? 2009. I thought we were just forgiven for that. Oh, this has been an ongoing issue. 2009, I think at that point, you know, people let it go. But again, it's repeated behavior of aggressiveness, aggression, regardless of, you know, whether that's because he grew up so heavy in the industry or, you know, whatever that may be, that aggression may be even, you know, whether it's bipolar or again it's a repeated behavior that to me is like i don't know i don't know if he's mm -hmm. got a ch i think that that's still enough for a company that is worried about branding yeah being extremely careful about where they put their money and what that looks like and the optics of that look like because i don't know much about ruffles other than they chips they but it too. Ruffles has like a background non for profit or company where they support domestic violence heavily. You can't you those optics you can't do you can't you have to be mm -hmm. really careful about that, even if, you know, there's forgiveness. But I think that there would have been space for it if there was a also a followed pattern of I made a mistake. But here's what I'm doing to try and rectify that mistake and change my behavior. And I think really all we've gotten from him is just my bad. I lost my temper. Y'all need to move on. <laughs> and like what I was thinking, you know, like <laughs> what I was thinking too is if we hold him to that standard, that's fine, right? But then we have to hold everybody. Oh, so absolutely. I mean, because it's a lot of people, you know, NBA players, not is you know, they got some things going on. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'm gonna say Draymond Green, although his issue is not the same. You know, he gets very hands on in the games. And he's, you know, was suspended for a certain amount of games because he like he choked people like arm, you know, he do all kind of stuff. He really get into it and he stomped on somebody's chest one time. Like he's yeah. he's over the top, in my opinion. He got suspended for a few games, but I, I you know, I'm a basketball fan, so I watched the whole weekend. Um, he was there hosting though. So I mean, no, he wasn't beating women, nothing like that, but he still was violent in a way, you know, well, some sort of way, but they let him host. And be there, you know, giving comments. So where's the punishment? Oh, exactly. Well, I guess the suspension and the fines are his punishment. But if we're going to hold one person, we got to hold everyone. And the problem is, if we did that, we probably wouldn't have no games. <laughs> <laughs> the clap in the face to this for Chris Brown, though, is that they invited him, said, never mind, you can't play, but you can still sit on the, on the, on the, like, on the floor. Right. Wow. And he that just refused to go. Yeah, that's a slap in the face at that point. It's like, I, never mind. Either you want me to play and participate, or you should have just invited me to be on the floor, like either one, but don't snatch it away from me because, you know, y'all holding X, Y, and Z. That to me was probably something they could have handled a little bit more personally. But whoever, 
whoever made that mistake and you know because to me they that's handled that that's that's a contract thing like to yeah. me i feel like that was something that was overlooked by whoever the, the somebody in their pr firm who was in charge of 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 inviting people or trying to get big names and stuff and then the person who was supposed to read the contract with ruffles that to me is is something that i believe because ruffles isn't out of nowhere just going to be like oh you invited chris brown we changed our mind no there's a no. lot of contracting work that goes in that so somebody forgot to read ruffles you know, points mm -hmm. and invited Chris Brown by accident and they tried to like redig and, you know, go back and they were like, well, you can still sell on the floor. We can still use your start. I mean, he was nah, like, you know, nah, so play, I, mean, I, don't blame him. I don't blame him for the way that he, you know, responded to it. But, but I don't all, I need, but neither do I blame Ruffles either in taking so... the hand they took. So not just Chris Brown in this particular situation, but any person, period. Mm -hmm. But let's just say celebrity because these are the people we see. And Chris Brown, we only know because he's the one that posted it. Otherwise, we would never know this even happened. Mm -hmm. It probably happens to him all the time, which is may he, he may have been like, you know what? I've had enough. Y'all won't see what's really going on. Um, yeah. So what, what can somebody do? If somebody offends you, let's say violently, what can they do to like make his ass whooping? Oh, <laughs> Right. Catch these hands. Catch these hands. Catch these hands. <laughs> All, of them. All of them. My family, my, my obscure cousins that live. In the <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's like, yeah. It's like, what? What is it that we are looking? Not just Chris Brown, but that I guess that's my question. What are we looking for? Because I'm thinking about myself. Like, hmm, if somebody put their hands on me, it's never happened to me. You know, I've seen it secondhand, but it's never personally happened to me. I thought it was, and I got scared. But anyway, um, what would it? <laughs> just nah, he was holding me down, and it was just like I thought it was a joke, and then it's like, oh wait, he's serious, and the his whole energy, face, everything changed. I was like, okay, I start crying. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> which he did, nothing happened. But um, what would it take for somebody if you smacked me or punched me in the face? What would it take for me to be like, you know what, it's fine. I'm not gonna mess with you like that, but I forgive you. I don't know. They say forgiveness is for you, but I feel like that. Yeah, you are gonna catch these hands, and I if I every time I see you, matter of fact, it's on sight. <laughs> Period. <laughs> every single time I see, you, that's how I feel. So I kind of understand why they be like, ah, never mind, Chris Brown, because yeah, every time I see you, it's on sight. Right, right. It is forgiveness is for you, but that's not the same as forgetting, though. Like and again. Right. Again, change behavior, separation of yourself from that person, for sure. You don't have to engage them. You don't have to forgive them and be friends with them. You just have to forgive them so that you can move forward and not let it affect your life as much as possible. But but you don't. But what, don't but what a sincere apology suffice. I feel like it's sincere and it's a one off and it's not a pattern. And okay. what's sincere? You know what I'm saying? Because I, I didn't cry my eyes out and sincerely apologizing, but to you, because you already have a certain perspective or feeling about me because of how I've treated you, that apology may mean nothing to you. So what's, you know, I think this perspective. Yeah. You know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I said, it's on. You go, you gonna be all these fifth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> head, you, might just be uh, you are going to be a sacrifice because I'm offering you up to Jesus right. at that point. Right. Because <laughs> I, I don't have the other cheek. Exactly. Right. Me, not, me, not me. Maybe the change behavior is just you remove yourself from my life and don't come back. Yeah. Yeah. True, true, true. I like that. I like that. After you catch these hands, though. But yeah, after I like that. These hands, and after my cousins come after you, you know, mm -hmm. and do what they gotta do <laughs> behind the scenes, and my family do what they got to do behind the scenes. Mm hmm. Don't ever, don't reach out to me. Don't contact me. Leave me alone. Don't ever come into my my airway space again. And and that to and me is fine. that's it. And we're I never have to deal with you again. Yeah. So another question. So that's people like us who you know we somebody in our little group. You know, but I'm talking about these. <laughs> <laughs> I am somebody. somebody. That's what Jackson said. Look, I you am. are enough. Yeah. <laughs> But for these big people who are on these platforms, you know, dealing with us little people, what do they have to do for us? To I feel like you can't win. 
you can't win because you have people like I said, he it ain't stopped his bag at all. Even in the midst of the heat of it, it was still women, oh, we gotta he made a mistake, you know, all this kind of thing. So people gonna ride for him regardless. And for him, like he's never going to be able to win that argument. Never. Because there's people on his his side and there's people on, you know, the other side. I don't I unfortunately I don't think there's any type of conclusion. Um, you know, he's gonna be fifty on the stage <laughs> trying to pop lock and somebody gonna be like, <laughs> you, I know what you did. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> gonna be one lady out protesting, being like, y'all throw a round in her bra, being like, y'all support <laughs> this, this. Like, you, know, you, you, you can't please. You can't. That's <laughs> impossible. That comes, with the, that comes with the territory of stardom. Like there, yeah. everything you do is is on display and everything you do is up for judgment. That is kind of like the dark flip side of, of stardom and celebrity. Everything you do is up for grabs and, for, and to be judged. And you just either have to understand that it's all, something's always going to come back to bite you, you know, and just keep pushing forward because you can't like he, he, yeah, this is understand. He's understandably aggravated, but he can't then, spend the rest of his career being mad at you know celebrity you know all-star mm -hmm. weekend you're gonna have to yeah. push forward and know that ruffles ain't probably gonna support one year and that'll be the year he get to play yeah. like <laughs> yeah. yeah and I, yeah. you know we the people us quote-unquote little people we're the ones that make these people celebrities so if we stop supporting them then we won't have to worry about it you know what i'm saying but again because we're fickle you know he he's he's gonna make his money regardless because he got people that's gonna go to his show I even thought about that too. Like, if a Chris Brown, see, I'm not a huge Chris Brown fan, so I don't know if he's a good example. But like, if he came to town, would I buy a ticket to see his show? Because I know do like his music. I've listened to it. No, I've danced to a Chris Brown song or two. But would I go buy tickets to his show? I, and no. I and when I say no, it's like it's because of his past, or it's because I'm just not a huge Chris Brown fan. You know, I don't because I'm not a huge Chris Brown fan. <laughs> I never be in the car bopping to any of his like he's amazing. I, I've seen some of his, you know, shows on TikTok, but it's just I'm no. Yeah. yeah. Make you wanna say yeah. <laughs> I know. And that's the thing. I was even sitting here trying to think of a song to hum. Like, dang, I don't know that many Chris Brown songs. If you play it and then okay, yeah, I know that one. But now I do have his album though. I can't think of the name of it, but I do have his not does he have a new album? Let's does he hold on. There was a new album one that dropped I think so. Today. So maybe the one before that, that has a lot of the slow, sensual kind of songs. I do have that album. That's a good one. The one, because I bought his very first one. He first came out, his debut. And then the one that had the, with Lil Wayne and Busta Rhymes. You stand outside the club, you can't even get in. I had that one. That was a really good one. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes. That one I, oh. I had that one. And. He does have some really good songs with some Afrobeats artists that I happen to love. Yes. You know, they're really, really good. Um, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm not a big enough fan to like buy a ticket to go yeah. watch him. I do think that there's a difference yeah. between supporting the an artist as a person and supporting the music. Mm. Like a lot of what do you think? Because I know a lot of like a lot of people will not separate the two. Me I run in the gray zone. I personally can separate the two. I own, you know, R. Kelly music. I've, I I do not support R. Kelly as a as a person. Absolutely not. He's he he's sitting right where he needs to sit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But again, but chocolate as an artist. Pop. But you know, but as an artist, but it's a bop. Felicia, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, Can you separate the two? Separate Are you able? Do you know it's it's funny that I, I've never thought about it, but have I listened to R. Kelly since he's uh been sitting in that uh, jail cell, rotting to death? <laughs> I have not. I have not listened, and it's. I mean, I just haven't. You know, I used to love R. Kelly, but I think. But I do think you can separate this. If you really enjoy that person's music, I do think you can separate the two. So maybe I think about it too hard because I think prior, because we're old enough to know pre-social media age where you didn't necessarily know things about these celebrities, right? You just heard the music, you saw whatever video they put out or whatever concert, and that was it. You didn't necessarily know a whole lot about their 
personal life. And sometimes mm-hmm. I think I kind of long for those days because I know too much about y'all. Right. I know who y'all with, y'all sexual habits, which y'all like to eat. I don't need to know everything. You know what I'm saying? So I think right, free social media, yeah, I could separate because I didn't know that much. Now for me, because I be thinking a lot, overthinking a lot of times. So I think, okay, so if I stream this R. Kelly song, even if you only get a penny from it, that's a penny that now goes to him that now supports the video camera that he bought to now pee on the girls. <laughs> that's now supporting R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? Oh my so God. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that camera is sitting in so it's like, no, I'm not going to listen to R. Kelly because he's going to use that money to go. So no, I will not listen to R. Kelly. You worried about how he's going to spend his money. Yes, I am. You going to use your money to do what now? Yeah, <laughs> you know, technically, yeah, it's not my business, and he's a pervert. Let's make that very clear, y'all. He's a pervert. We do not support that at all in any way, shape, or form. Um, but yeah, prior to social media, I probably could, yeah, separate the two because I didn't know that much. Now it's really hard to because they put it out there. It's not even like rumors; like they put their own stuff out there. Like I don't, you know, I know too much. I want to close my eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all. I think this was a a good one. Any yeah. last words? Comments? No. Keep your hands to yourself, everybody. Please that. keep your hand to yourselves, unless it's consensual sexual. But keep it. You know, keep your hands <laughs> to yourself. And if you feel the urge, walk away. Yes. Walk out. If you feel like you're not going to be able to control that fist, walk away. Walk away. People sometimes ask me, oh, you're so calm. Why are you so calm? How can you say that's why? Because if I acted on some of the things that happened in my head, baby, I would have been, you know, y'all been like, dang, she in jail again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you should have hit now. <laughs> so I just learned to just control, remove yeah. myself. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Both of y'all said, or catch these hands, you know, I mean, if you want to. Catch these hands. <laughs> A little spicy, y'all, you know. A mutual beat down, you know, that's another thing, too. A lot of people, you know, don't can't back it up. Everybody got words. Everybody's a keyboard warrior, but I'm not scared mm-hmm. of you. I feel like I can whoop whoop, whoop a little bit. Yeah. 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 And I'm never going to I can't, I'm going to go down fighting. You hear me? Right. right. I'm never, never going to hit you first, but I'll hit you back. Yes. Back. I, I get you back, though. Yeah. And you better run. I make sure I'm out cold. <laughs> and you cross uh, state lines. Yeah. Yes. All right, Don't y'all. Use your credit card because I'm a track that too. I'm a low key <laughs> FBI. Yeah, she agent. like the FBI. Yes, she is. I was just about to say that. I'm yes, she FBI. is, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are gonna put all of our social medias up so you can follow us individually. And don't forget, y'all. Please now, like, comment, subscribe, and what? Share. Share, Share it to people. Let other people enjoy our, our beautiful faces. We're missing one. But yeah, all of our beautiful faces. All right, y'all. All right. <laughs> we out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>